Hi, my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and today I have a short tutorial on setting up item types in your Koha system. We're going to talk about how to set up item types and with Koha, item types actually deter will determine your circulation and fine rules for those item types. Item types are such as books and movies and things like that. So we're going to go over and create a new item type. We're going to go over to our Koha administration module. And under these basic parameters, here is where item types are held. Now I already have some item types set up. However, if this is your first time setting up an item type, you wouldn't have anything here. Um, we are going to, I'm going to walk you through how to create a new item type, but I did want to show you some options up here at the top. It says that I have 22 item types and it's going to show the first 10. I can go ahead and change that if I wanted to. I could page over to my other item types here, as well as search for an item type in this search bar. I'm going to go right here and click this plus new item type. Now this item type is, these two item fields are required. Item type is like a code. So the code has to be 10 digits or less, contain no spaces, and no unusual characters. If you did want to put a space, you could do like an underscore, but we'll try to keep it 10 characters or less. Um, it will avoid less hassle in the back end. So I'm going to go ahead and just do maybe young adult. So I'm going to just do that YA as an item type. And then my description is what your what's going to be viewed on the OPAC and on the staff side. So really the item type code is not um, doesn't need to be really too descriptive. Now the search category is if you wanted to group things together, so I wanted to be able to, when book is searched, I wanted to also look through the young adult. So I could go ahead and create, say this is a book, so when book is searched, young adult will show up. These are defined in your item type category and authorized values. The next step is to choose an icon. So we do have some already um, icons created here for you, depending on the style you're looking for for your library. We have very bright colors. We just have plain colors. We have these just black and white, some more black and white with some red, some big and small icons, really small icons, and then this crystal clear. Um, there is an opportunity to upload an image of your choice, and you would just be you would just put that full HTTP address in there. So I'm going to say, let's go with Liblime Kids. There we go. Now we have a couple options down here. We could hide this in the OPAC. If we check this, then we, then these items would not be found when you search when you're patron search in the OPAC. We also have not for loan. If you check mark this box, none of these item types, these um, young adult books included in this young adult item type would be able to be checked out. Now with Koha, there is, a, there is the capability of choosing specific items to suppress and make not for loan um, versus doing a whole item type category. We have this rental charge. Rental charge is if you charge to rent this, to borrow the item. So say you had a $2 um, rental charge on DVDs. Once a patron checks that out, then that $2 would be charged to their account. Check-in message are really handy if you were um, creating maybe a um, item type for puzzles or games or something with lots of pieces that you could say, count the pieces or make sure all the parts are here and this message would pop up when this item has been checked in for your staff. You have a couple different ways to, to tell your staff. There's a type of a message and an alert. The message is blue and the alert is yellow. Other than that, they're pretty standard. They pretty much look the same. Now we have what's the SIP media type. Some SIP devices need to use a specific media type instead of Koha's item type. So if that was the case, that would be put here. Once we're all done, we can go ahead and save those changes. 
And now we've created the item type for young adult right here. Now, if you did need to edit any of your item types, you can go ahead and click this edit. You could also delete an item type. And deleting the item type is possible unless, of course, you've already attached items records to these item types. If that's the case, then Koha will say these need to be reallocated to other item types before the deletion can happen. So that is how we are, that is how you create new item types and all the um, choices you have with each of those item types. Thank you so much for watching for watching this tutorial and its production of Bywater Solutions.